This is Crystal Candelero. On the 26th of January 2022, she welcomed a baby girl into the world that she called Jalen. However, Crystal suffered from postpartum depression, which ultimately would end up in tragedy. Before she welcomed her little girl into the world, Crystal was an elementary school teacher. She left that job to take full-time care of Jalen. Crystal lived with her two parents, baby Jalen and her eldest daughter. Her parents took her eldest daughter on vacation, but Crystal decided that she needed a holiday too. So on June 6, 2023, she left little Jalen in a playpen by herself and went to Puerto Rico. When Crystal arrived back home in Ohio, she found Jalen not breathing in her playpen, covered in her own feces. She called the police and tried to lie her way out of it. She had changed Jalen's clothes before they arrived and claimed that Jalen had been refusing to eat for a while, but she decided not to take her to a doctor. An autopsy found that Jalen had died of starvation and severe dehydration, as Crystal had not even left her any basic supplies like food or milk while she was travelling around on her vacation for 10 days. So, uh, but in the last week, she get a vomiting too. Uh, remember right now we you mentioned the vomiting. Uh, she get a vomiting the last week, Monday and Tuesday, two uh-huh. times. But I was trying controlling because I know I give to her Tylenol or something, you know, for yeah uh, for controlling the vomiting. Last night she was crying a lot, and I see one moment when I was a uh, take a shower me. And she was, uh, she was screaming like, ah, I don't know, probably she get a pain. Okay. Maybe clean, wake up, da, 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 da. And she wake up, and, and when I see her, I see she looks like a really, really uh, dry, like a, como se dice, cuando una persona se, se chupa, o sea, se. Kind of like. Yeah. You know, like oh, like her like face like, was sunk in so, it? Yeah. Yeah. Like, y ahí fue okay. que yo me asusté y dije. Yes, and, and, and she what time was, was like what, a purple. I said, okay. oh my God. And that was what time this morning? In this morning, uh, when I called to emergency, I don't remember the exact time, but maybe 8 a.m. Okay. Yeah. And she would always sleep in the playpen at the siempre end of the bed? Playpen, sí, siempre duerme, por eso le ponemos colchitas ahí. Pero ella, sí, pero ella uh, ayer, de, como le explicaba al, al oficial, Era de un carácter así que lloraba y explotaba, así tiraba todo. Y... Entonces ayer ella estaba así. Yo la agarré y le digo, inquieta, calma, inquieta. estaba muy inquieta. She says that, um, yeah, she normally sleeps in the playpen. Um, you know, the playpen, she puts like blankets and things like that um, to kind of cushion it. Okay. She says the baby um, last night was very, um, you know, wouldn't stay still, you know, almost like, like if something's bothering, yeah. you know. Como si algo le estaba molestando. Como que se, eso le explicaba él, como que si algo le dolía o algo. Yeah, almost like, like she was not like herself, like yeah. something was bothering her maybe or something. When police spoke to her neighbors, they stated that this was not the first time that Crystal had left the little baby on her own. They claimed they had spoken with her about it before, and when they found out the state that Jalen was found in, they were heartbroken. He told her not to leave her by herself, not only me, my friend across the street too. But she always be here by herself. There were so yeah. many people here. She could have knocked on any of our doors and asked us to take care of Jailene, and we all would have. We were always playing with her. She was so gorgeous. And like when they told us the state that they found her in, I, I was heartbroken. However, footage has been released of what police believe to be Jalen's last moments, and everyone who has heard of this case is all wondering, how did nobody hear her cry? And if they did, why did they ignore them? Why did they not call the authorities themselves before it was too late? On 6-9-2023 at around 1.04 a.m. in the morning that you hear this child crying.
Crystal Candelario, 32, pleaded guilty to aggravated murder and child endangerment at a sentencing hearing in April 2024, where she made some chilling statements about the entire situation. There's so much pain that I have in regards to the loss of my baby, Jalen. I'm extremely hurt about everything that happened. I'm not trying to justify my actions, but nobody knew how much I was suffering and what I was going through. God and my daughter have forgiven me. Crystal's parents even spoke out in defence of their daughter. Her mum said, My heart is ripped apart in a thousand pieces. I am here to tell the world that my daughter came from a home where there were values, beliefs, emotions, warmth, where the most important thing was family. Her emotional health was affected on more than one occasion and depression and anxiety ended up consuming her. Her dad said, I'm still giving moral and spiritual support to my beloved daughter. The judge was unmoved by the words and sentenced her to life in prison without the possibility of parole. You could have saved Jalen's life many times. You could have found someone to watch her while you were gone. You could have taken her with you. While you were in Detroit or Puerto Rico, you could have called someone in Cleveland and told them that Jalen needed help. Despite all of her suffering, that little baby persevered, waiting for someone to save her. And you could have done that with a simple phone call. The bond between a mother and a child is one of the most purest and most sacred bonds between human beings. It's a relationship built on love, trust, and unwavering protection. Yet, in a shocking and betrayal of this fundamental trust, you committed the ultimate act of betrayal leaving your baby terrified, alone, unprotected, to suffer what I heard was the most gruesome death imagined, with no food, no water, no protection, and lying in her own feces. I hear this morning that you went out and managed to go out with someone that you were with and he was too upset to eat, but you weren't. And then I hear that you're in jail and you're telling people, I can't wait to get home. I look at remorse. I hear except for the acceptance of responsibility, no remorse. As a court, I have to remember Jalen, where you did not. Just as you didn't let Jalen out of her confinement until she died, so too, you should spend the rest of your life in a cell without freedom. The only difference will be that prison will at least feed you and give you liquids that you deny her. The big question that lingers over this case is why? Why did she not arrange care for her child while she went away? Why did she not leave food for her? If she was struggling as she says she was, why did she not reach out for help sooner?